Good afternoon everybody, hope you're well. Um, uh, yeah, um, I hope everybody's doing okay. I'm just, uh, I hope you enjoyed um, the flip through of my journal yesterday. Um, it seemed like some of you did, which is lovely. It's great getting feedback, like, you know, people like liking your work. It's what it's all about, really. Um, that and the enjoyment of making. Um, so, so today, yesterday afternoon, um, Sunday afternoon, um, I went for a little walk with my family. It's just a short walk. And it was around um, a nature reserve uh, locally. And it was absolutely beautiful. I've never been before and uh, really, really loved it. It was such a lovely day. And um, I mean, uh, there's just so much foraging to be had there. that uh, So I'll definitely be going back to do that. But on top of that, there's a lot of bird watching, bird hives and hide, hides rather, not hives, hides. And um, yeah, there were lots of um, things you could buy like there normally is, you know, to help raise money. And there was also a, a second hand book, um, sort of, I'll just check that you can see the full book. I think I might have to pull it back a little bit just so you get to see all of it. Sorry about that. I think you can see it all, uh, except um, I think that might be better like that. Anyway, I'll try and uh, make sure you get to see it all. So, um, so yes, I was selling some secondhand books and a lot of them were bird books and I couldn't resist. I mean, you know, who can when you're a junk journaler, you just love these sorts of things. And I did buy quite a few um, for a donation. Um, so I thought I'd just show you, it's a little bit of a haul, um, you know, and obviously the secondhand, they're beautiful. Uh, this one is, this cover is particularly beautiful. It's a very, very heavy book. Um, so I'll check to see what ages, but it's got that gorgeous embossing here in gold. Uh, so yeah, just thought I'd show you. So there's a page ripped out here. I'm not sure what that was. Probably one of something like that, which isn't that beautiful. It's just filled with just stunning, stunning images. So the paintings are by Arthur Singer. And he's obviously very talented because as you go through the book, it's just gorgeous. So this was um, published in 1969. So it's, a, you know, it's got a bit of age to it. And um, the birds are so, you know, they've got these large pages here, but the birds individually are just, just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And... Um, I can't decide if I would cut this up. I can't decide that. It's an older book and I, I don't like cutting older books up, but I do like collecting old books as well. So it's possible that I wouldn't cut this, especially with images like that. I mean, it's just absolutely stunning. There's that one on the front there. Um, so yeah, this is a, a pretty special book and I thought I would share it with you. Um, page stuck together there oh I did it <laughs> oh that hasn't worked out <laughs> as on my walk I picked up a, a couple of these mallow flowers and it hasn't quite worked out I just in desperation because nothing else around I um tried to that one's actually I'll leave that one there um, the other one hasn't quite worked um yeah put a couple of flowers into uh I mean you can just imagine these you know, in journals, they're a little bit big, possibly. Well, no, they are. They are too big, I think. But they would look great. Um, if I'm able to, I will um, scan and copy so that I do get, you know, I'm able to benefit from it in that way. But if I can't, then I can't. And it's just a beautiful book to own and look at. And, um, you know, I do look at all these books. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd share that one with you. And as you can see, it's a very special one. So that's number one. Number two, I think you're all going to be pretty envious of this one. <laughs> oh, it's a shame that flower didn't work out. Like, I don't know if I can do anything with that now. But I'll try. 
yeah country diary birds of the countryside it's going to be a very popular one this hasn't it the country diary sort of series if you like um isn't it interesting how many um you know books and other things came out on the back of the country the the, the uh, edwardian country diary lady uh, edwardian lady country diary book it's just incredible just how people have you know um gained from that and, and done more work on it and, and what have you just check you're in yep okay so i shall open it I'll, I'll show you the cover first so the um it's just it's quite a plain book it's like a chocolate brown with just very plain writing on there so it's you know it is what it is nice dark green in there it's got a little um mark on it yeah i'm going to be jumping up and down trying to make sure that i keep in so this is um a mixed book of sort of the um the drawings and what have you and there's some photographs in here as well so edith um holden's drawings and then photographs from the person roger lovegrove so he did the photography so it's a good mix but obviously it's got that distinctive um, style writing um, oh that's gorgeous um, yeah so yeah I'm really pleased to find this as well um, I'm sure you all recognize it I have a few of the Edith Holden Country Diary books um, and I've obviously reluctant to, to cut into them. I've used, I think I've cut, maybe cut once in a book, one of the books, but I always, they're so pretty, I always, but that's why I got more than one because I wanted to, um, I mean, it's just beautiful. Yeah. Mm. And the photographs are lovely as well. Half inch. Oh, look at that. Yep. So keep your eye open to these. Uh, I did check um, online afterwards. Um, and there were... Oh, little wren one of my favorite birds and this blackbird as well so yeah beautiful book yeah have a look on on um you can find the second if you can't find them in your um you know second hand bookshops or whatever then have a look online because you can buy them online and they're not that expensive i think this one's three pounds for example and this has some amazing images in and i've looked at it because it's three pounds because it let me see just see where the date is on this one uh, this is um a vintage book it's nine this one was 1984 this version it was first published in 81 and this is 1984 this one it's redesigned and illustrated edition so it's slightly different but um i love this it's a really nice book um a bit of writing so i don't know if you've heard of um gilbert white but um yeah um who's a naturalist and there's a, a um museum the gilbert white museum um uh, have a look see so it says in selborne which is in i believe it's in selborne's in hampshire oh hang on maybe not in hampshire actually it says oxfordshire or maybe maybe it's not in or maybe he moved to hampshire anyway um i thought it was in Hampshire. No, I didn't. Just looking to see if I could find something that would tell me, but I can't find it at the moment. But um, yeah, I'm sure if you look it up, you'll be able to find out where it is. 
Um, so yeah so what it's got is i mean that's beautiful map there what's hampshire map of selborne area so it's hampshire um this sort of thing which i adore i mean i just adore it and these illustrations you know they're sort of the older style illustrations very either antique looking or vintage looking Um, all sort of natural history style. Um, you know, animals and what have you. That's a particularly vicious looking fox. I mean, foxes, it doesn't look like a fox that I know. <laughs> but you know, that's how they drew them back then. Poor fox. Um, yeah, they had they did, they did these very dark drawings sometimes. I mean, I love looking at them. I'm fascinated by them, you know, and the colour of that. But um, yeah, so this one, because it's cheap to buy, it's like three pounds second hand if you look online. I would use these images. I would cut this book off. It's a it's um for one thing, it's a paperback. Um, you know, it's a second or third or fourth edition i don't know but i would use this and i think these would look really incredible in in um you know journals they look beautiful oh that's gorgeous um so yeah i'd be happy to use this and and also i once i've read it you know i will read it um my book collection is just just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and I need to stop now because I've run out of book, uh, space on my bookshelves. I have no more and nowhere to put. It becomes a, a real, um, you know, it's like I've got to have him. I've got to have them if I see them. <laughs> yeah, there's a, a particular style with, uh, with these sort of antique style drawings. They, they draw them, I mean, we sort of, nowadays, we get very, you know, fluffy and sweet pictures, whereas back in those days, they didn't go for any sort of, you know, those sort of characteristics that we see, birds and animals, it, you know, they were animalistic, whereas, you know, they somehow, nowadays, make them into, you know, these fluffy, sweet creatures, you know, cartoony almost. I mean, there's almost a cartoony element to these as well, but it's, it, I don't know, there's something a bit vicious looking about them in some of the pictures. Um, but yeah, and amazing, it's amazing. Just beautiful. So what obviously what they've done is they've drawn this and then I don't know if these were some of the pictures that maybe he had in his, or it's just to depict some of the le things that he saw, uh, he studied, because he, like I said, he was a naturalist famous one so i'll have to read it anyway and let you know love it love this book so I would definitely use that and i would be very tempted to use the birds of the countryside so two more to go let's have a look they're both these ones are big so let me make sure that i can get them into as long as i don't move them from there rspb reader's digest book again you can get this for three pounds online it's not an old book it is a hard book but um this uh was published 2005 i think yeah it must be because um yeah and there's some really lovely drawings, really lovely sketches and watercolours of birds. And then there's the um, photographs again. But the, the um, sketches are very um, distinctive. They've got a very distinctive style, which I really like. Let me see who the um, artist is. Peter Partington. 
and you'll see the style he has. It's very distinctive and really, really lovely. Unusual, well, you know, just really loose and lovely. I love it. So, January. Lots of information about birds, if you're a bird lover. I mean, that's no robin that I've ever seen, but anyway. <laughs> um, it's still really interesting and, and lovely. Yeah, gorgeous. Very winter-like colours, blues and yellows. And the light, grey, very nice. Oh, wow, well, look at that, that's gorgeous as well. colouring. So I said this one is three pounds as well. Um, so a lovely art book, a lovely nature book and going through the seasons. Um, because it's readily available I would consider cutting this one up. Oh, that's not very nice, but she's gathering feathers for her nest, or he is. The poor pigeon is dead. Mm. Little wren with an insect in his mouth. Or her mouth, or whoever. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Gorgeous. <gasps> Lovely. So, yeah, I think you get the picture. Um... And I just wanted to show you, really, just because, you know, I know some of you find these are interesting. Oh, wow, look. That's gorgeous. All the birds just, you know, um, facing the owl off. Mm, very interesting. I always find it a shame to... Oh, look at this. Is that starlings? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's a really interesting picture, that. You know, the, the work that's gone into this, into all of them, but, you know, the, this, these um, sketches, and the paintings are just stunning, really interesting and very um, original in the design, but also in the, you know, the composition and everything about it, sort of like the colours that he's used, just really very unique way of doing it. She used charcoal um, and pencil and very much mixed media style. If you're into art and you like that sort of thing. Yeah, you can see, I mean, it could be a charcoal pencil, but it's used, definitely used some, some um, charcoal in there. I love the pink as well, the pink plaster. So I'm getting a bit um, carried away here, aren't I? <laughs> okay. It's just a lovely book. I'll be looking at that. So there you go. And you wouldn't know it from the front, really, would you? Secret Lives of Birds garden birds and finally this monster book in celebration of 100 years of the rspb all right just make sure that i can get it all in so you can see it all in its glory lovely lovely um you know pages of the uh, what are they called i forget what they're called now yeah, um, end pages. Uh, let's have a look. This was published. Let's 
1988. I didn't think it was that old, actually. Quite surprised by that. Mm. Let's have a look. It doesn't tell you who the... Uh, the illustrator. Oh, it does here. Yeah, it does. So it's um, it's a huge effort by a lot of different people. So, and the artists. Are, there's just so many of them. Yeah. So it's a, 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 a very huge collaboration between a lot of different people, uh, writers and naturalists and uh, artists. And again, it's a good mix of um, illustrations and photographs, information everywhere. These are a nice size to use in um, in uh, journals. They're not a bad size, actually. Uh, I would consider used cutting this off, in fact, and I know that it wasn't expensive. It isn't an expensive book to buy either. Um, again, it's quite cheap. But, you know, these books, if you keep them for a long time, they become more expensive, you know, they, and they become less, um, less available, sort of rarer, if you like. They, they become more ex If you're a collector, that is, if you want to collect. And I know most junk journalers I want to collect and to, like myself, want to collect and to use these books. You know, so, um, I don't know what the copyright is, but I imagine that wouldn't be able to. Nice um, pencil drawings as well. Little, these little ones here, just, you know, you can imagine those in your junk journal. So yeah, I think I would cut this one up. And this is where you've got different sizes and the different styles of where they've been painted. Um, you know, and like I said, different sizes. Got nests, seabirds, every bird. And their habitats. Oh! <gasps> Love owls, <laughs> baby owls. Look at those sweet little faces. I mean, it was very apt that these were all bird books because it was, you know, a bird um, birds paradise. It was um, a nature reserve for birds, really. Well, mostly birds. You know, obviously there'll be other lots of insects and there was actually a, um, a butterfly garden and oh it's just a gorgeous place I can't believe it's only five minutes away from me so I will be there most days having a walk and gathering herbs and um, you know wildflowers and what have you and foraging um, it's the scent in the air of um, meadow sweet <laughs> it was just divine it really was divine so there you go I thought I would share these with you and I know that some of you will appreciate it and if you don't then you know it's not your thing that's fair enough I understand but for those who do appreciate it um, I hope you've enjoyed that little wander through these books um, Magnus Magnuson did the foreword bit <laughs> So yeah, really happy and pleased, but it has to stop, Julie. It has to stop this this book buying business. <laughs> so um, anyway, I will be back very soon with a new project um, and some more just making videos, just for the sake of it, you know, having fun. And maybe I shall do a project on birds, but I've got lots of things in mind to make. Um, so I will be seeing you very soon. So have a lovely afternoon and evening and um, bye for now. Thank you for watching.